This video is made to teach the configuration of the Bode digital clock, and synchronization of the time, and date through the master clock using the Bode Detect software, as easy as possible. In the previous video, we have seen how to configure the master clock Sigma C device, to synchronize the time and date, through the satellite, using GPS antenna in order to distribute the exact time and date, between the digital, and analog clock. Before you proceed with this video, I will recommend to watch that video to make the things clear from the beginning, about the master clock system. The link of the video given in the description, or you can watch the video by clicking on I button. Without any ado, let's start the video. Let's install the software, to detect the clocks in the network. To do that go to the software folder and right click on the .exe file, then select as administrator. The installation wizard will open. Install the software by following the instructions from Installation Wizard. The Boded Detect is a monitoring and configuration software for Boded clocks. Once the installation done, click on the Quick button to exit the Installation Wizard. Once the user clicks on the Quick button, the software starts running and it will start searching the clock in the network. As you can see on my screen, sometimes it will detect the clocks in the network or sometimes it might not detect the clocks available in the network. As you see now it's not detecting the clock, even I have connected a digital clock in the same network, where I have connected my PC. However, to resolve this kind of issues, we need to change the IP address of the digital clock manually, through the web browser. To connect the digital clock through the web browser, we should know the default IP address of the clock. For the Bode Master Clock the default IP address is 172.17.30.110. Before we open any web browser, let me change the IP address of the computer. To that close this window, and then change the IP address of the computer. Before we open any web browser, let me change the IP address of the computer. To that close this window, and then change the IP address of the computer. In the range of 172.17.30. And then keep the subnet mask as 255.255.0.0. As of now, no needs to have any gateway. Let's try to check whether the clock can connect through the network or not. To do that, press Window Plus R key from keyboard. Run commands window will open. And then type ping space. 172.17.30.110, space hyphen T. Then click on OK. As you see on the screen, the clock can communicate with my PC. Now let's go to a web browser, and type the same IP address of the clock. Here we need to make the configuration for the digital clock, to synchronize with master clock Sigma C, or NTP server. Once the user is connected to the digital clock through the web browser, the web interface of the digital clock will be seen on the screen. On the left side of the interface screen, the user will have the menu to make changes to the clock parameters. Home screen. Here user will have details of the clock such as Product type Name of the clock Synchronization status Local date which is displayed on the clock Local time which is displayed on the clock as you know in the previous video we have already configured the NTP server, or master clock which is Sigma C. Now we need to synchronize both devices to display the correct time, and date, on the digital clock. To do that, first of all we need to change the IP address of the digital clock, to make the two devices in a network. To change the IP address of the clock, navigate to the network configuration menu. Here disable the DHCP server, and change the IP address according to your local network. To save the changes click on Save, and Reboot button. Let me check if the IP address of the clock is changed, or not. To do that press Window plus R key from the keyboard, and try to ping the default IP address of the clock.
As you can see on my screen the default IP address is not pinging. It means that we have changed the settings applied to the clock. To connect back to the clock, we need to change the IP address of the computer to the same range as the digital clock. Let me change it. After changing the computer IP address, then open Bode Detect Software and try to find the clock in the network by clicking on the refresh button. As you see now the clock has been detected by the software. Here we have different options for different settings, which we will see in the upcoming videos when we integrate other services with the master clock. As of now, we need to synchronize the time. So let's go back to web browser access of the digital clock for the remaining program. To do that, select the clock from the list and then click on the web browser access button. Once the user clicks on the web server, it will be redirected to the web browser. To make the synchronization, navigate to time configuration from the menu and then change the time zone according to your region. And then go to the synchronization option. Here to change the NTP mode from multicast to unicast and then enter the IP address of the NTP server or master clock Sigma C in the address IP1 slot. If user don't have any Sigma devices or master clock devices to make the time synchronization, user can enter the local NTP server IP address to run clock as a standalone device. Once enter the IP address, User can change the periodicity of time for synchronization. The default value is 15 minutes. It means after every 15 minutes, the clock will synchronize the time from the NTP server or master clock Sigma C. And the last option is continue to display time after synchronization failure. If the user enables this option, the clock will remain displayed the time even if the NTP server is removed from the network. Once you make the setting, Click on the Save button to continue. Now let's go back to Home page and check the synchronization status. As you see on the screen it says the synchronization not yet completed. It might take some time depending upon your periodicity configuration. Let's wait for some time. As you can see now on the screen, the synchronization has been completed and the NTP server IP address is changed from default to new which we have configured earlier. Let's see other settings. Go to Parameter Setting. Here user can change the luminosity or brightness of the LED and mode of the time displayed. 12 hours or 24 hours. Next Alternate Display. This option is used to display time, date, and temperature on the digital clock alternatively. Select an alternative display option from the list. Here I will select the date and month. Once we finish the configuration, we will see the clock physically where we can see time and date on the display alternatively. Eco mode is used for energy saving. If the user selects eco mode, he needs to set on and off the timing of the display. As of now, I don't want to use this option. Next is temperature offset. This is optional. So no need to change the setting. To continue click on the save button. Next alarm configuration. Which is used to set alarms for faults. But on my project I don't have any external sounders for buzzing. So I'm not going to do any setting for this. Next, we have a system setting. Here user will able to see the installed firmware details in the digital clock. And then the time and date of the last update. In the next video. We will see how to update the firmware for the digital clock. The link to the video will be available in the description. Then user can set the user credential for login into the digital clock through a web browser. To set the user credentials, enable authentication. Make sure when you enable the authentication, remember user credentials for the next login. The correct password is required for the connection with the embedded web server. To reboot the digital clock, click on Reboot. The reboot will cause the loss of the network connection. To make the default setting for the digital clock, click on the Factory Config plus Reboot button. Factory configuration will cause the loss of all your parameters, and it may cause the clock to lose network. Hope you understand how to make the configuration and synchronization between the NTP server 
or master clock with the digital clock to display the correct time and date. It's time to test the configuration. So let's see the digital clock. As you can see the display is changing alternatively for time and date. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my explanation, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So I can make more videos on different topics. See you in the next video.